Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. I am back again doing another Saber review. This time I'm going to be looking at the 89 Sabres, uh, their new Windu. I think this was dubbed the Windu V2 from uh, that Corbanth just distributed. This was uh, one of the other purchases I made in uh, late September from uh, Corbanth. As you saw last month, I got an MPP ESB in. Uh, I think it was the MPP 2.5 which came right away. This one I had to wait a little bit because I don't think the hilts were all in when uh, when I made that order with Corbanth and then uh, Randy reached out slightly later on saying that um, you know the installs would start taking place shortly. Um, but I have to say from the time I ordered it to the time that came in it was maybe six weeks which I think is pretty good for an install. Uh, I think uh, if I'm not mistaken I think Randy does these things in he does the installs in short runs so that he can kind of get these out quickly and there's not too much of a waiting period. Um, the empties typically go out right away. And uh, as far as I know, I think these sold out really fast because I just went to a site before I, I hopped on here and uh, they, they didn't have any in stock. Uh, so the Windows uh, seems to be a pretty popular hilt. Uh, the you know Sam Jackson's hilt is, is definitely one of my favorites from the prequel trilogy. And, and I can't even tell you why. There's something about this hilt. Every time I look at it, I always... It just, it kind of just, uh, it did, it definitely spoke to me. This was something from when I saw it in episode two, and of course in episode three. Uh, I look at this hilt, and I always wanted it in my collection. The only thing I have is the, uh, the master replicas, the little mini, the little uh, four or five um, size hilt that they came out with. I, I do own that one, but I've always been wanting to get a, a full size replica, uh, and getting an FX one is, is pretty sweet. Um, when it does come, comes in the nice, uh, you know, standard 89 Sabres box that they put out. And when I get the hilt, you know, I, like I said, I had this installed. So it pretty much came, it, it came almost fully assembled. The only things I really had to do were I had to put the grips on. The grips come with the adhesive on the bottom. You have to peel the, the paper off and just stick them into into the little grooves that are inside the body here. Uh, and the other thing here also is this uh, this ring, this gold ring that's right here. This guy had to also get put on. I used a little E6000. Uh, it comes loose uh, and that gets put on. But other than that, everything else came uh, came assembled. Uh, it has a, a beautiful weight to it. It has a really nice like mirror polish to this hilt. This is... And the install again is uh, looks to be nice and clean. I'm going to show that off in a minute, just like the the MPP 2.5 that I had from before. Um, it's a nice little blade plug, has some shine through to it. Now, I'm going to be honest. My knowledge of the Mace Windu hilt is not as great as some of the other characters in the uh, the Star Wars universe. Uh, I just like this hilt quite a bit, so uh, that's one of the reasons why I grabbed it. But I knew that people were happy with. The, the first run that uh, that 89 Sabres did. I believe he, I tried to get one actually from uh, from Vader's Vault when they installed, I think they were installing 89 Sabres hilts if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and I wanted to grab one of theirs, but they, they always had them on these short runs. Uh, and I just, typically I would just miss out on it for whatever reason. And just, I wasn't paying attention to the, uh, the messages that were going out. Um, so when Randy said that these were going up, Finally, after months of trying to get uh, of these coming in, I think originally they were supposed to come in much earlier in the year. And then, of course, you know, with COVID, that kind of pushed everything back a little bit. Uh, and I kept like I kept track of that because I kept getting emails from from Corbanth. And then finally, I saw that they were going to be out and released. And uh, I, I hopped on and grabbed that. Um, so overall, like I, I didn't think that was a, a bad process getting, you know, waiting six weeks for a profi installed uh, NeoPixel Hilt. Uh, I want to just go over the what the hilt looks like from start to finish like I typically do. So here's your pommel, vented pommel here. There's the grips. Okay, before I go any up higher, so here's your cover tech. Okay, let me see if I get that right. Now the cover tech to me, I thought is actually on the next ring, but I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Cause this thing here looks like it's on, it's like, it's almost sitting on the edge. Of this like as like it starts to like bevel down I, I for some reason I thought that it was for some reason I thought it was like right here 
like on, on this, like where, so there's a line right, there's a line right here where it starts to jump off to the next point. But I thought it was on this one instead. It almost, it's almost like in between. So when I first saw that, it, it almost looks like, like it was gonna, I mean, it's, it's solid, it's not moving anywhere, but it just, it just looked like it was at a, like a weak point. But that's, that's really the only thing that I, I, I truly noticed. Um, the grips, these are our rubber grips. They're not like the hard plastic on the, the Graflex. Uh, you have the gold buttons, all right? So, so the, the primary, uh, primary and then auxiliary. These buttons here don't do anything. They're static. And these are held in by magnets. So actually when, it, when I opened it up, the package, this one button was actually off. And as soon as I placed it on there, it, it you know it sucked it right on. Uh, the magnets kicked in. So it's nice that these are going to stay there. I don't think these guys are coming off anytime soon. And I think these are uh, used with adhesive to get these guys on. So here is the blade plug here. Now this is the shine through area. Now if I'm going to see if I can get this right. So right there, there's one set screw. And then just 180 degrees set screw right there as well. So you got two set screws. Again, you got this cracked rubber look here, which uh, again, feels feels pretty nice. Uh, it, you know, it, swinging this around is actually a, a pretty nice hilt. I didn't know how this was gonna feel. The only thing is sometimes if you grip from up here kind of hard, you can definitely push on the buttons. Uh, so you might, you know, retract the saber or uh, engage something with the auxiliary buttons by accident when you're when you're grabbing hold of that. So just that's the only thing I would be careful of if you end up getting this hilt. Uh, okay, so let me. The threads on this are really smooth. Okay, that I, I like that a lot. I not uh, that was really well done. There's there's no issues getting it on and off with, uh, with the body. So you got a goth 3D chassis, right? Just a basic, basic chassis. Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, again, looks like to be a nice, clean install in here. Pull the kill key. This part is over. Nice little mace window action. Um, the only thing, the only downside really to to this hilt is just the size of the speaker. And I understand that there's really there's only so much space that you have in a hilt like this, trying to keep it as uh, I guess as screen accurate as possible, um, but that that probably would be my only, and it's not even really a negative. It's just because it, it is what it is. But the size, you can't make the the hilt any bigger. I don't know if there could have been a different uh, placement for the speaker, but I would have liked to have seen either a, a 24 or a 28. This seems to be a little bit smaller. The, the, I don't, this might be a 20, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Um. But yeah, uh, guys, I have to tell you again, with uh, just like the MPP 2.5 that I had, this has a ton of fonts. Uh, that's the Profi, this is the the 2.2 board that's out there, and I got to tell you, the amount of fonts again, the, these guys go over the top, and it's fantastic. You know, you can keep recycling these fonts on some of your other Profi boards if you wanted to. They do, they basically give you every character. Uh, there's so many light side and dark side characters. You get uh, Mace, Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan, Rey, Luke, Sidious, Dooku, Vader. Um, oh gosh, I know I'm going to be missing some. But uh, there, are, there are quite a few that are on here. Uh, as well as even some, some non-Star Wars uh, sound effects. Uh, the, the Ghostbusters Proton Pack is on here, and I think that's awesome. I'm a big Ghostbusters fan, so when I actually heard that, I was kind of uh, shocked for a second, and I had to turn it on. And it does look like the Proton Stream when uh, when you activate the the hilt, and I thought that was really cool. There's one for Tron. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that were on here. Oh, there's a, a Lord of the Rings. I believe there's a, a Sauron. Um, effect blade effect and, and here as well but overall just i think there's probably at least 15 if not maybe even close to 20 sound sound fonts that are on here uh that did a great job it's one of the the latest profi uh operating systems i don't know which one it is that's that's put on here i have not checked into that but uh it is one of the the later ones with all the with all the cool effects all the blade effects uh, great, you could change it on the fly. You know, when uh, when Profi first came out, that was one of those those downfalls is that you you couldn't change the colors on the fly just yet. You know, the coding had to be written for it. 
and now that you've and the blade styles had to be put into effect and now you've got um, some amazing people over on the the open source Facebook page uh, with immense knowledge of, of the board and what they're what they're doing with it so uh, I highly recommend if you uh, do get one of these hilts with a profit board and it's your first one and maybe you just you're not sure of all the effects that you're uh, able to to choose from to head over there and take a look and see what they have I guess Randy does put on quite a few blade effects too. So not only do the the heroes, of course, you know Kylo Ren. So you have the unstable blade. There's uh, I think there's even a rain blade on here, which is great. So you got to check out all the different blade effects that you that come stock with the hilt from from Corbanth. And you could of course make adjustments to that uh, using using the information from uh, from those Facebook pages. And there's even a a site that you can do blade effects with so check on check that out if you're interested uh, I'm gonna fire this guy up just to kind of show it off what it looks like with a blade there's all oh, there's also music on here as well which is a nice touch I'm gonna say that's one nice thing is that when it does come out it's pretty much ready to go the saber was almost fully charged when I got it again which is really nice this takes a 7 8 inch blade um, not that I would call that a downfall because uh, the, you know even the Graflex I think is a 7 8 inch but um, I would have loved if it came in a 1 inch I remember I was asking when when Randy said that they were doing a new version of this uh, that 89 was putting out a, a, a new unupdated uh, window hilt uh, I asked if it was going to be 1 inch and like, yeah yeah it got back to me now that's it's going to end up being um, it's going to end up being the 7 8 but so far, so good with all this stuff. Let me uh, turn the lights out. It's uh, in the morning here in New York, and there's going to be some light that's coming through some of these windows, but you're going to see how well the NeoPixel holds up against that. So this is a really, really nice purple color. Got the smooth swing. And you can see somewhat on the on the video that there's these random blaster effects. Um, the lockup is not engaged by holding on the button, but you have to clash and then hold it down. There you go. And there's the lockup. And this does have the localized lockup. Localized lockup meaning that it's going to hit a different pixel area and it's going to stay that way, or it's going to stay locked up that bright spot in that one uh, one area. So another another Mace Windu font. Something. You got Ray. Oh, that's cool. I let you live. Resistance and the Force is my ally. Ray Skywalker. So here's Ray's from Rise of Skywalker. That nice like golden, golden yellow color. As you see, my Jedi powers are far beyond yours. A little Dooku action. Feel, don't think. Qui Gon. Your instincts. And also, I'm going to show off the color change. Okay, so with the color change, it's just basically twisting the hilt. You go through the whole spectrum. And when you're back on the color that you want. It's basically a quick hold of the auxiliary and hitting the primary together. All right, let me go grab the lights. So yeah, guys, overall, I am pretty happy with this hilt. Uh, like I said before, I've always wanted to get a Mace Windu in my collection. Uh, this was a, a really nice one. Uh, again, I'm not going to tell you how accurate it is because I'm going to be honest with you, I, I don't know. I've heard very good things from people that do uh, that do know a little bit more about the Mace Windu hilt. Uh, there's always going to be some changes and possible sacrifices when you're talking about uh, making a hilt into an FX. Uh, so this might not be 100% screen accurate, but uh, there are some people out there that I think are, are looking to to do another to do a run of these. And that's the hard part too is that there's really not that many people that have done a, a Windu run. You know, you got to think about that too. Sometimes you have to 
sometimes you take what you can get for uh, for some of your characters that you enjoy that you want to have a hilt in, in your collection. Um, yeah, for some reason, I don't know why there's not more runs of a, of a Windu FX, but there's on, uh, on over on the RPF, uh, Anakin Starkiller. This, uh, this is supposed to be one of his future projects. He's got quite a few on his plate right now that he's got lined up, but he did say that he does plan on doing a, a Windu hilt at some point. So I am, uh, I'm going to look forward to seeing what he does. The one thing here is that I'm, I'm, I've seen different pictures of, so I'm going to be honest with you. The orientation of the cover tech and where that is in relation to the gold buttons, uh, I am not 100% sure. I've seen pictures where it is off to the right, just off to the right of, of the, the, gold, the last gold button. Uh, I've seen it completely um, behind, 180 degrees behind. So I'm not 100% sure. And this took like a little bit of a, a play too when I first got it. When I first got it, when it closed, it was almost dead center with the the center button so it kind of took a little bit of a, a give and play to get it all the way all the way over but that that's pretty darn snug when i got when i got it there uh the only nice option i would have liked to have seen and i know people are trying to convince this uh of, you know for star killer on his run is to maybe give us a little bmf stamping on here on this gold button uh that is on sam jackson's hilt that he took home with him after he did uh Revenge of the Sith. So if you take a look, if you go online and you look up Sam Jackson and his lightsaber, uh, he does have on there, you can could, you could see it, there's a BMF. All right, we all know what that stands for with uh, with Samuel Jackson. And I would like to see that because I think knowing that that's on the prop, I, I think that would be, that'd be pretty cool to have. But uh, guys, overall, I thought this was a, a decent install. Uh, it came pretty quick. You know, normally, other than these last two sabers that I've purchased, uh, I typically do a lot of my own installs, most of you guys know. Uh, with the exception of buying uh, an occasional Vader's Vault, uh, I've, I have done pretty much my, my own when I'll, I'll get empties. But, uh, you know, the last year or so, it's been a little bit harder, more challenging to find time to do installs myself. So just buying something that's already installed saves me a lot of time. Yeah, it, it does cost me a little bit more to do so. Um, but you know, having a little bit more time with my family and uh, and work sometimes holds me down. So it's uh, it just it, it's a little bit saving of a headache actually when I can buy something and and know that it's uh, you know decent quality. I think the hilt is a really good quality. I don't think there's I don't I'm not gonna you're not gonna hear me say anything bad about the uh, the 89 Sabers hilt. The quality of it itself it it's uh, very sturdy, very very it seems very durable, and I've heard great things in the past. The uh, the Corbett, the installation itself so far seems to be holding up well, other than just taking it out and swinging around a few times. I really haven't done much with it, so I can't tell you how it's going to hold up if I start uh, dueling or, or you know hitting this around with my uh, you know dueling with my kids or something like that. So uh, I will find out eventually. I'm not a, a a big impact person with it anyway, just with any of my hilts, but uh, it's just fun to kind of take it out and uh, and swing it around every now and then. So. If you guys have any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me and ask. Uh, this is probably going to be the last um, last installed hilt I, I get for a while. I got a couple still that I'm working on myself right now. I'm very close to finishing up the uh, Rudy Pando V3. That's, uh, that's one that I'm working on right now. And um, the only other hilt that I'm looking forward to coming out is Vader Vault's the the derelict. I'm 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 really hoping or the derelict. I'm I'm hoping that's coming out soon. Um, the last update we had was back in like August or September. Uh, I think they put some pictures out. Deanna put some from some, put some photos out back then. So we'll see. And uh, guys, that's about it. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Again, guys, have any questions, feel free to reach out. Okay, thanks so much for watching.